welcome to Telegraph Studios. I'm Louise People, and today we're going to discuss sustainable food security solutions. I'd like to introduce Jean-Charles Bouquet from ECPA. Jean-Charles, thank you for joining. What does ECPA stand for? Good afternoon, Louise. ECPA is a European Crop Protection Association. Mm -hmm. We uh, represent companies who are uh, investing, uh, researching uh, product uh, which are helping the farmers to protect their crops against pests, disease, insects, so that they can produce uh, in quantity, in quality, and affordable food for us as, uh, as consumer. So the MI5 once said, we are four meals away from anarchy. We feel very secure in the West, but with rising food prices and rising population, will it run out? We are not so secure in the West. Uh, you know, if you uh, go yourself in the street here in London or in Paris, mm -hmm. you see people on the street starving. Mm. Uh, and tomorrow, uh, this can be even worse because we will be uh, 10 billion people on Earth. Uh, we will have to produce more uh, on uh, less land uh, with less water. So this uh, plus 70 percent production of food tomorrow is really uh, a challenge on which we have to work. But what's standing in the way of producing enough food? Today, regulation is basically the main uh, blocking factor. Of course, it's not the only one, but regulation is really something we have to look at. And um, what's behind the regulation? Uh, in Europe, until uh, recently, uh, the regulation was based uh, taking into account uh, risk and benefit. Mm -hmm. And as long as you had a solution which was uh, much more beneficial than risky, this was on the market. Tomorrow, with the current new regulation, we will introduce the hazard approach, which will have as a consequence to eliminate uh, currently available uh, solutions, which has been proven, in fact, safe for the farmers, safe for the environment. So the farmers will not be able to produce uh, in a regular way uh, the food we need here in Europe. So how will this happen? I think the driver of the solution, it's not a unique solution. Right. I think we have to work on, on, on uh, many aspects of, uh, of this situation. But uh, looking at the regulation, uh, we need uh, a regulation uh, which is a better regulation based on science. Mm -hmm. And this regulation has to be also uh, uh, balanced between what we do in Europe and what we do uh, in other parts of the world. So we can hold together, contribute to more food on the globe. And if we have this good regulation based on science, mm -hmm. then we can innovate. And those innovations will allow the farmer to produce in a sustainable way in Europe, so to remain competitive themselves, but also to allow us to have a, a, a safe, affordable food. So with what you said that's standing in the way of these solutions, is it a government or an industrial problem? Is, is, this, is this something that we have to get them on our sides to, to provide this solution? Uh, in fact, we have to work, uh, of course, uh, primarily with the uh, uh, policy makers, yes. uh, with the regulators, but we have also to work with the other stakeholders, the farmers themselves, to be sure that they apply the product correctly, uh, with uh, the uh, uh, public, uh, in order to help the public understand how we produce carrots, how we produce peas, what are the limiting factors hopefully to uh, educate the public mm. that uh, the farmer is first is a tough job mm. and this farmer needs the innovation, needs technology uh, to answer our needs as consumer. So we've established that it's, it's quite hard to talk to these regulators. How does ECPA, how are they going to understand these regulators? How are they going to implement these changes? In fact, we have to um, communicate to share uh, the progress which are really uh, available today, which has been made in terms of product profile, in terms of ways of ap applying those products mm -hmm. with the farmers, uh, the way the advisors are uh, really helping also the farmers to apply the, the right product at the right time with the right rate. So it's really a, a chain process mm -hmm. which is already available, but 
which is not known enough uh, at the public level. So we have to really do more to uh, dialogue with the public, to educate the public, to bring the public on farm to show that uh, what is produced here around uh, London uh, is really uh, produced according to good ways and uh, so to restore or to build the confidence in what we produce in Europe. So I'm a member of the public, I'm a mother and I shop weekly. When I'm shopping, I, I want to get something that's healthy for my children, that tastes nice. Are you saying as well as cost, taste, health, I need to increase and look at sustainability and on top of that as well in my shop? Yeah, yeah. In, in fact, today, uh, what we are producing in Europe is already sustainable. We want to be sure that this remains sustainable. Organic is quite popular, uh, more and more popular in many countries. Of course, it can be sustainable. The traditional way of producing is also sustainable because we look always at the three pillars, which are the economical aspect, the environmental aspect, and the social part, which is what you are looking for uh, as mm. a consumer, as a mother. So today it's sustainable, and we want to be sure that thanks to innovation, thanks to uh, good regulation, we will continue to produce a sustainable, affordable food in Europe. But you are right. This sustainable uh, aspect is, in fact, our, our driver at ECPA. And there are these technological solutions available? The technical solutions uh, are available. We want to be sure that they remain available and the new innovative solution can be put on the market. But for that, we need uh, a better regulation. And uh, this is really our, 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 our challenge and our members are investing roughly 10% of their turnover. Uh, they invest 200 million euros to find a new product. It takes 10 years. So everything we do today, we will see the outcome in 10 years from now. And we want to be sure that it will be either chemical, either biocontrol, either biopesticides, but we want to, to offer to the farmer a, a set of solutions to answer your needs as a, as a mother. So how do we mitigate these risks, environmental health risks? These all stand stand to, to mean a lot of risk is there for all of us. Yeah, but a lot of benefit too. So okay. And the benefit uh, by far uh, overweighting the risk. Okay. Uh, but we work on the risk uh, in terms of training, education. Uh, we invest a lot also to better know the behavior of the product we provide to the farmer. And again, uh, doing that together with the regulators, with the farmers, with the advisors, hopefully we will convince the public that uh, the uh, sustainable way to produce food today in Europe is safe, is affordable, and of course it will, it will help us as uh, Europe to play a role on the, uh, on the health because mm. we have a unique uh, soil, climate, weather, and it's an opportunity for us to play a significant role on the food supply at the, at the globe level tomorrow. So you've touched on the future there. Are you optimistic? By nature, I am quite optimistic. And uh, I see in Brussels uh, some early vibes uh, showing that uh, um, all the sectors, all the actors within the food chain are sharing the same view. Mm -hmm. So we want to really work together, including the farmers, in order to, um, to answer uh, your concern as, uh, as a mother, uh, to answer the regulatory uh, uh, arena concern, and to show that uh, what we do is sustainable and has to remain sustainable. So Jean-Charles Bouquet, thank you very much for your time. You are welcome, thank you.